I'm going to come right out and say it. I was never that big a fan of Frieza. Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Void. I'm Brian, your host, and today we're going to be talking about Resurrection F, the second canonical Dragon Ball movie. Not counting recaps. Now, unlike its predecessor, Battle of Gods, I do not care for this movie. It is boring. Yeah, kind of nice to look at, but substance? No. So the plot is a bit easier to explain. Some of Frieza's army is still lurking around, and they sneak onto Earth somehow. You'd think that they'd have, like, anything to detect spacecrafts landing or entering the atmosphere at minimum. But regardless, they come to Earth, they wish on the Dragon Ball to revive Frieza and put him into his, like, mincemeat body. Sounds cruel and unusual and doesn't make a lot of sense, but they put him into... I don't understand what they put him into. It's, just, it's something that can mush him back together somehow and regenerate his body. Don't know how that exactly works, but it does. And so Freeze's back, he's revived. And instead of going straight into his revenge, he wants to train for the first time in his life. So yeah, he was that strong without ever training at all. And now he's going to train. Terrifying concept. But then he comes back and he has this new golden transformation. And before he takes out that, he has all the rest of his minions fight the Z-Warriors sans Vegeta and Goku. They lose. Then Frieza wipes out his entire army. Like the last remnants of his army. And then Goku and Vegeta show up. That's where things get weird. So, Goku and Vegeta have been training with Whis on Beerus' planet through means not explained in the movie and they reach Super Saiyan Blue or the full title Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan So what is this? Super Saiyan with blue hair dye? He's just basically pretend that Super Saiyan God is like a new base level then you put Super Saiyan onto that. So it's Super Saiyan God going Super Saiyan. Cool Saiyan blue hair, but absolutely mind-blowing, comes out of nowhere, makes no goddamn sense in context of the movie. And so they fight with Frieza in this form, and Frieza pretty much just came here right after learning this ability. He was very cocky about it. So he isn't used to it. It burns his stamina way too fast like Super Saiyan 3 did to Goku. Or still does. I'm not entirely sure how that works anymore. So Frieza loses. Vegeta's about to have catharsis. And then Frieza pulls the bitch move of blowing up the earth. So yeah, that's concerning. But not really because Whis has a reset button. Whis just reverses time by five minutes and Goku gets the last shot on Frieza killing him outright so basically kill stealing from Vegeta saving the earth through very bullshit means oh and there's also the part where Goku was taken out by a laser gun while in Super Saiyan Blue I don't care how you want to justify it. I don't care what Hoops you decide to jump through in order to explain that to me. That is a no-fly zone for me. That makes no sense. Sure, if he was in his base form, his guard was down. Yeah, I can see that taking him out of commission for a bit. Maybe not killing him. Maybe even killing him. If it's really lucky. But when he is in that state... Even if his guard is down, that should not take him down. A normal piece of technology should not do that. And this is where I say that 
the Super Anime did it way better. Yeah, it didn't look nearly as nice, the animation quality was still shit, but it expanded the entire story. It uh, took time to talk about Goku and Vegeta training with Whis. Captain Ginyu came back, which was really cool. And it was just a much better constructed story in the anime since it had time given to it. It was the inverse of Battle of the Gods, which worked as a shorter story in the uh, movie format, but didn't work when it was extended in the anime. So this one worked being extended, but was just convoluted when just fit shoved into a movie, a tight space where it did not fit. And yeah, as I said in the beginning, I'm not that big of a fan of Frieza, but that's not really swaying my opinion here because I can admit that he's a cool character. I liked him during the Tournament of Power at the end of Super. I would have preferred Cell, but I still liked what Frieza did. So that's, he's a non-factor in my decision of it. He's kind of like a net zero worth here. He takes away nothing and gives nothing. But yeah, this is a movie that I would just own purely for collection purposes, not for any actual want of the movie itself. It is confusing, boring, but at least it looks nice. Anyway, the next Dragon Ball movie I'm going to be reviewing is the Dragon Ball Super movie. I am very excited for it. I cannot wait to see it on the 17th. And I'm very excited to review that as well. So if you like this video, you want to see more from me, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you are subscribed so you don't miss an upload from me. And I will catch you next time in the void. Later.